Hello, this is Joel with the Schemmel Group at Premier Sotheby's International Realty. Hope you're uh, healthy and safe. I wanted to spend just a few minutes today talking about the real estate market for the first half of 2020. I think it's always easiest just to kind of compare that to last year to 2019 and see what's happened. So I'm just going to hit a few different price points and it's probably no surprise what's happening. So if we look strictly at closed sales, from 2019 to 2020. Um, as you may have guessed, almost in all price points, uh, closed sales are, are down. So in the four million and up market, they're down significantly more than 50%. Um, in the two to $4 million market, they're down about 17%. And in the 1 million to 2 million range, they're down 11%. So again, that's closed sales comparing the first six months of 2020 to 2019. I think probably more important is that we look at all pending sales year to date, so through June 30th. So that means closed sales and pending sales. So we, if we compare those for 2020 versus 2019, we see a different picture. So we see in the 4 million and up market, the total pended sales up 10%. In the two to $4 million market, pending sales are up 21%. And in the one to $2 million range, they're up 27%. So again, what happened during the pandemic is we had that shut down for almost two months. As soon as, th as, as things re-engaged, the sales started happening at a very efficient pace. And the result is, again, total sales, total pended sales for the year were ahead of the game in 2020 versus all of 2019. So, you know, what does that mean? Um, I think it means a couple things. One, uh, certainly because pending sales are up, our supplies are certainly reasonable at this point, but they will dwindle if the demand continues. So we'll have to look at our supply side. Um, certainly that's a factor for buyers. I think we do have a very solid buyer base out there right now looking very seriously about buying in Florida. And I think what's happening is if they see something they like, they're ready to jump on it. Um, and I think that's important because I think the continued demand, the demand for Sarasota real estate will continue. Um, I don't see that really changing. In fact, it may be fed to a certain extent by the pandemic situation. So, you know, if you out there are, are interested in buying, I think um, it's better to buy now uh, because I think demand will outstrip supply and that will put pressure on prices. So again, certainly from a buy side perspective, uh, I would encourage you if you're looking um, and you find something you like to pull the trigger, uh, again, I think supply is only going to dwindle in the relatively short term. So uh, certainly the flip side of that is sellers. It is a great sell time to be putting your home on the market and selling. Again, demand is out there despite everything that's going on. And I don't foresee that to uh, stop. So again, I think it's, it's certainly a good time to be listed and with a good chance of selling. So again, different perspectives, but uh, I think the result is we have an engaged market and I think uh, continues, you know, supply and demand factors will, will make their way through the third quarter of this year. But again, I don't see our, um, our demand changing much. Certainly there is a factor out there that Florida's um, positive pandemic cases are shifting upward. And so that's a you know, warning for Florida to be more cautious, I believe. Um, but again, I don't think that will change the very essence of why we have this, uh, why the buyers are out there. And that is because Florida is just one, a great place to live. Um, there is space here. We can spread out. We can social distance, but we can still enjoy life. Um, we can go to the beach. We can play golf. We can go out on the boat. Uh, we can be outside all year round. All those things are very important, I think, in today's world. So that will continue to um, spur the market here in Florida and in Sarasota specifically. So again, just my two cents on the market. Uh, again, most importantly, I hope everyone is uh, healthy and safe. If there's anything we can do from a real estate perspective, please do not hesitate to reach out to us. Again, Joel Schimmel with the Schimmel Group at Premier Sotheby's International Realty.